Hey viewers, today I will be explaining to you how nuclear power plants work. Like conventional power plants, nuclear power plants use fuel to produce electricity. In a conventional power plant, this fuel is coal, gas or even garbage, which produces heat to boil water, which turns into steam. This steam is then run through a steam turbine, which produces electricity. Nuclear power plants use uranium-235 instead of the conventional fuels, but the principle of operation is still the same. The uranium produces energy, which is used to boil water. The produced steam drives a steam turbine, which produces electricity. If you would like to know more on how uranium-235 produces energy, click the screen now or visit the link in the description. There are differences though. The main difference is safety. Conventional power plants are relatively safe to use due to the fact that you can just deprive the energy generation chamber of its fuel, which would stop the water boiling, which would in turn stop the generators. Nuclear power plants do not use consumable fuel, but instead use the same fuel for a long time and use a shielding system to regulate the amount of energy being generated. If this shielding system fails or does not function correctly, the amount of energy being generated can increase exponentially, resulting in catastrophic results. If you would like to know more on how a nuclear reaction is controlled, click the screen now or follow the link in the description. If you would like to know more about what can go wrong in a nuclear power plant, click the screen now or follow the link in the description. Just to be clear, a nuclear power plant can't actually explode. The fuel used is simply not pure enough to generate enough energy to do so. A second difference is radiation. The fuel used in nuclear power plants is extremely radioactive. That is what makes it work. Radiation is of course extremely harmful for the human body or any other part of nature. Radiation will however only be released when the reactor suffers severe damage such as in 2011, when an earthquake damaged the Japanese Fukushima nuclear reactor. On the other hand, under normal operation, a nuclear power plant does not produce any form of hazardous material. Conventional power plants, especially coal power plants, generate lots of hazardous materials in the form of toxic coal dust and soot. According to recent studies, this globally causes hundreds of thousands of deaths every year. A nuclear power plant also doesn't generate CO2. Let's get back to the working of nuclear power plants. We already saw how the reactor uses uranium to boil water, which drives the steam turbine, which produces electricity. If we were to operate a nuclear power plant like this, we would release radioactive steam into the air, which would be, well, bad. The water around the uranium absorbs the neutrons, which are released by the fission reaction going on in the uranium, making the water radioactive. To prevent this radioactive water from getting out into the open, we want to close the system. That way, the radioactive water stays inside the system at all times, and there is no radiation getting out. We do, however, need to cool this water on the other side to convert the steam back into water. To do this, we use water from a nearby river, lake or sea and run it through a heat exchanger. The fresh water will absorb the heat from the radioactive steam, which will turn back into water, completing the cycle. The warmed up fresh water is cooled down in the cooling towers before it is released back into the river, lake or sea it came from. Often we see power plants use the warm water to breed fish, like salmon, in basins next to the power plant. I hope you've learned something today and I'll see you next time.